me right now. Ah, it's Zoe from Zoe's Barber Shoes. <laughs> Hey dolls, so today I'm going to be actually doing the first episode of my Wreck This Journey. Um, doing this Wreck This Journal. Uh, for those of you who are curious as to where I got this and everything like that, if you haven't seen my video kind of introducing this journal, I actually got mine off of eBay, but I've seen them um, at Barnes & Noble and various different bookstores, probably Amazon. Um, just Google search, you know, where to buy a Wreck This Journal, and you can probably find one. Again, this is just the original one. There are such as, like, the limited edition ones and stuff like that, but I'm going to be doing the Wreck This Journal series, and I have to give full credit to Graveyard Girl who inspired me. I've been wanting one of these things for a while, for a few months, for a year or so, and I finally was inspired enough to actually get one because of her, so it was because of Graveyard Girl, credit to Bunny, that I am doing this series. I was inspired to do this series. And also, if you can't wait to see my pages and stuff like that, feel free to follow my Wreck This Journey Instagram. It's at Wreck With Manda. And remember to hashtag your journal pages to uh, hashtag Wreck With Manda on Instagram because at the end of each uh, video, at the end of each episode, I will be featuring some of your guys' pages at the end of that episode so you guys can kind of get a little shout out or whatever. And yes, so let's go ahead and get into this. And a lot of you guys had said that you wanted me to catch up with Bunny, so that's actually what I'm doing. I actually caught up with all the way up to her second episode. Um, I haven't caught all the way up to um, yesterday's episode of Wednesday. I'm going to be doing my series every Thursday. So it gives Bunny her day to do her thing and to shine and everybody can see hers first. And then um, I'll do mine on Thursdays. And... Uh, right now, I'm going to show you the full, um, like, 20 pages or something like that. And then um, next Thursday, I'll end up doing the other 10 that were in Bunny's video from yesterday. And um, and then the 10 new ones, if that makes sense at all. And I also want to put a spin on this. So uh, keep an eye out for when I actually get all the way caught up and stuff because I do want to put a little bit of a spin. Um, it's going to be kind of like a surprise little thing um, that'll be a surprise for not only me but for you guys as well. So yay, get excited for that. So enough talking, we're going to go ahead and get on into my breakfast journal. Okay, so you can see it's kind of beat up and I have these little, um, these little sticky note tabs which I will talk more about in a little bit. But you just open it on up. There's the front page, and then this little warning thing right here is really cute. It just says that during the process of this book, you'll get dirty, you'll, you'll, um, you may begin to live more recklessly, all this just cute stuff. I'm not going to read that whole page, but on the first page, I'm going to cover up my address right here. But on the first page, it is just, this book belongs to so-and-so. So the first line is, write your name in white, so I did that. And then the next one is, write your name, um, illegibly, and I kind of wrote it, like, totally illegibly. It was horrible. I might rewrite it again right there. But, and then I write your name, um, in tiny letters, write your name backwards, and then write your name faintly, and then write your name in giant letters. And then with this page right here, I just did a whole lot of circle rainbows. I felt like it shouldn't be blank, so I fancied it up and made it really pretty. And then the next page is this page right here. And actually at the top of all the pages, I put the date that I did the page, um, just like you would like with a regular journal. Uh, but I decided to make the instructions page all rainbow-fied as well. And I'll go ahead and read off the instructions real quick. Um, it says, carry this wherever you go. Um, so I've been kind of lugging it around in my purse with me everywhere that I've gone. Uh, follow the instructions on every page. Order is not important. Instructions are open to interpretation. And number five is experiment. Work against your better judgment. So then we have this page that is add your own page numbers and actually every single page number um, I went through every single page without reading what was on the page it was really hard not to read them because I'm the type of person that wants to flip it and then be surprised at what is on the next page so um, I haven't I didn't read any of the pages at all or anything and I just went through and I I numbered all the pages and they are all number 14 because 14 is my favorite number hence 31409 um, and 31409 is actually a date um, 
it's March 14th, 2009. That was the date that my boyfriend and I started dating. So, yay, history behind my username. So then turning the page to page number 14, we have Crack the Spine. And I just drew all these little cracks and everything. And then this one says, uh, leave this pl page blank on purpose. So I did just that. And you can see my spine is all cracked. And I've been looking it around everywhere. So it's all like getting dirty. And then it's all bent and just getting racked all up. It looks great. <laughs> okay, and then on the next page, we have this one. It was stand here, and it says wipe your feet, jump up and down. And it was really, really muddy and rainy that day, which was kind of perfect that, for me to do this. But so this was all like mud and dirt and grime and yuckiness. And I just wore my cowboy boots, and I went outside, and I literally just walked around for a few minutes. And then I put my book on the ground, and then I just started like vigorously jumping like a crazy maniac all over it. <laughs> And then this one is pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. So this one was kind of fun. I actually just kind of, um, kind of I dropped it. Like I put a little bit in a straw and then I kind of dropped it. And then I did like that blow effect with the straw. Like I went up to it and I went, I like blew into the straw and then it like kind of flung outwards. And I thought that was really cool. And then to get it to kind of be like, see how this is the same on both pages while it was still wet. I kind of just like carefully closed it and then opened it. So it was kind of the same on both sides, but yeah, my spit is all grotesque looking and it's awesome. And then this one right here was actually pretty fun. It was poke holes in this page using a pencil. I actually used several different colored pencils just to give it some look and feel. But on this page, I drew a pencil and lots of holes. They actually kind of look like bubbles, but I thought it was fun. And then this one, to do this page, I took my book and I laid it on the carpet like this. So it's just this one page. And then I literally just started like stabbing like a maniac. It was really, really fun though. And then this next page is draw fat lines and thin, pressing really hard with the pencil. I used, again, colored pencils, and I felt like I pushed really, really hard, but it doesn't look like I did, which is weird. But that one was kind of fun to do. This one was insanely fun to do. I actually did this one with my friend Missy. And it says, this page is for handprints or fingerprints. Get them dirty and press them down. At first, I was going to do something simple with, like, um an ink pad and stuff and just do like simple little fingerprints but then I was just like you know what no let's just go crazy with it so we did we just d dumped our dipped our hands and fingers in acrylic paint and we just went like this all over the book and it was crazy and the picture that I took and that is on my Instagram is actually really cool and I love how it turned out so this page was fun to do and then this page right here, um, yeah, that's the next page. And this page right here is just says, color the entire page. So I drew a wolf because wolves are my favorite animals. And then I had to draw a fox because I love the, what does the fox say? Hence my new shirt that I actually got today. I got it on sale. It was super cute. I got it at this store called Fred Meyer by where I live. Um, and then the next page was another one that I actually did with Missy. Um, it says to throw something, a pencil, a ball dipped in paint, etc., etc. Um, we threw coins, like pennies, dimes, and nickels, um, dipped in the same paint that we had done our handprints in because I had so much leftover paint from that. Um, I was just like, you know what, let's just do this. And then so we set it down and we started flinging it at it and everything. And then I accidentally closed the book before it was dry so you can see that it's, it got all like stuck together and stuff, but I mean, hey, it's a reckless journal, so I'm just gonna leave it because it looks cool like that. And then the next page is actually a work in progress, hence the little to be continued sticker. Um, this is where I kind of like to use the little sticky notes on the pages that I will be adding to or the pages that I haven't gotten to yet that maybe I've skipped over um, that I want to do later on. So this is the page I have right now. I plan on filling both of these pages, but this one just says press leaves and other found things here. And so I've got a hell, I was like going through my room, like I was cleaning some of the stuff in my room and I actually came across the stuff. I'm like, hey, I'm going to add this. So um, I found this little purple chain. So that's there. Um, this Hello Kitty sticker, this Pez wrapper, a penny, a fake finger impress nail, an impress fingernail that I had worn on my birthday. I actually found it on my floor, like over by my computer desk. And then some Hello Kitty tape that I had found laying around that someone had actually taped to a box for my Prezi mail. And I just cut it into a heart and put it on there. And then the soda tab is actually like zebra printed. And I found that um, from back when I was doing soda tab jewelry, when I was making soda tab jewelry. And then the giant Rainbow Dash trading card. 
I just found in a random drawer or something and I decided to put that on there to make it cute. Uh, but again, this whole page is going to be work in progress, so that's why it's not filled up. Then the next page is scratch using a sharp object. I use a safety pin and I just scratched Amanda 31409 and then over here I just decided to draw scissors like scratching. I thought that was kind of cute. And then this page was, I, I didn't really do anything on this page because as you can see the scratching kind of went through so I decided to just leave this page blank. But this page says, do some rubbings with a pencil. And I actually did, you can see it says Barbie, Barbie, and then this one's the Browning logo. I actually used, um, and then these are actually coins, like quarters and nickels and dimes and stuff. But um, I actually used cabochons or Decoden phone case pieces to do the little rubbings with. And I just used uh, neon colored pencils, as you can see there. But I think the little Barbie one turned out awesome. That was cool. And then this one was really, really fun to do. This was the Scribble Wildly Violently with Reckless Abandon. And this one was insane because, as you can see, there's a crayon right here. I was scribbling so hard and going so crazy with these crayons that it broke. Like, I decapitated a crayon. So I decided to just tape it on there right in the middle because it's like, oh, rest in peace, little crayon. You will always be remembered. And then this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite pages. I don't know why. Um, this was the uh, Tear Strips Rip It Up. So I did, I colored it, and then I went ahead and ripped the strips. And then over here I put a cat as if it's kind of like ripping the pages. And it's kind of a little man cat. You know, if you watch Graveyard Girl, it's kind of like a little man cat or a little Boris, and it's going all crazy. And then I just put like here kitty kitty down in the bottom. So I thought that was really fun. And then the next page actually said... Um, glue staple or tape these pages together so I actually just stapled the top right here just along the top and then this bottom one right here because then it makes it easier to flip through the pages there's that and then doo -doo 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 -doo. this page was kind of fun as well um, it just says draw lines while in motion on the bus on a train while walking um, etc I was actually jumping up and down on my bed like a crazy little kid and I thought this one was super fun to do and my lines just turned out all crazy. I just used rainbow colored markers to do that one. And then this page, oh my gosh, this has got to be one of my favorite, favorite pages ever. Um, this one says, fill this page with circles. So as you guys saw at the very front with this page, I kind of just use the same concept and I literally put little tiny circles all over this page um, and I did Fluttershy and then I did a big old cupcake and then I did the blue pretty background and then I just kind of lightly colored it all in with colored pencil but it's all circles and then like with the eye instead of doing like the little tiny like hollow circles I just like dotted I just like dot 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 because then it would make like uh, really like thick circles so there is that I love this page so much it's like yay I just I just love I love this page so much um, and then this one I still have yet to do is the document your dinner and then the last page I'm gonna show you guys is this one right here it's the chew on this warning do not swallow I decided to draw a giant piece of pizza because I absolutely love pizza and so I did the giant piece of pizza and then I chewed it and as you can see I got lipstick all over the place so, yeah, this one was really fun to do as well. So that is actually going to wrap it up for this episode of Manda's Wreck This Journey. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing all these pages, and in order to catch up, I had to do them in like two or three days. And it was really, really fun to do. I had a blast making all these. And be sure to follow my Wreck This Journal Instagram at Wreck With Manda uh, to see all the pictures if you want to get a head start at seeing the pictures before I show them on the video. And also remember to hashtag your journal pictures so I can see them and feature them at the end of my videos. Um, remember to hashtag them to hashtag wreck with Manda on Instagram. And I will see them and I will, like I said, I'll give you guys little mini shout outs at the end of the videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Again, full credit to Graveyard Girl for inspiring me to do this. And definitely go check out her series. If you haven't seen it already, go ahead and head on over to her channel. Um, she is awesome. And feel free to subscribe for future 
wreck this journey episodes and again after i finished the after i finished the original i will be moving on to like the limited edition and the scavenger hunt and all the other ones so this is gonna go on for a long long time i hope you guys enjoy this and it will be every thursdays and if I can't get it up on a certain Thursday, you guys will just see twice as many pages the following Thursday when I will be able to film. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will talk to you all in my next video. So, until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye!